This conference will now be recorded. Can you see what is maintenance event builder? Maintenance builder overview. Maintenance planning with MAB. How to do the maintenance planning with using this maintenance event builder. Features in maintenance event builder. What are the different features available in MAB? Layout of the maintenance event builder. What is a layout? Okay, different, different sections in the maintenance event builder. We will see. Creation of task list hierarchy. Okay, in our previous sessions, we created a task list, but today we will see how to create a task list hierarchy and how it is used in MEB. We will cover generation of orders from MEB, different uh, how to generate the maintenance work orders from the MEB. We will see, and uh, finally, we will see configuration related to maintenance event builder. Okay, so these are the topics we will be covering in the maintenance event builder. Okay. So first we'll start with introduction to maintenance event builder. Okay. So the maintenance event builder, builder MAB provides an intuitive, easy to use way to manage the planning of maintenance revisions that represent individual work packages. So basically uh, in the maintenance event builder, you use revisions using revisions. You will plan your maintenance activity. As a package suppose let's say you want to shut down your plant let's say for one month so during that shutdown period that one month you want to do some maintenance activity on all machines okay so you want to generate orders so for generating the orders instead of creating orders one by one one by one manually individually using this maintenance event builder you can generate the orders at once Okay, it's like a one shot, one go, you can generate the orders. Okay, which I will show it in the system. So that is the use of maintenance event builder. You can use the maintenance event builder to optimize the planning of large maintenance tasks, such as revisions and shutdown of technical assets. That's what I just explained. So if you want to do uh, multiple, if you want to create multiple orders, a lot of orders at one go, then you can use this MEB. Of course, in that you will be using the revisions. The revisions we have already covered in our previous sessions. How to create a revision, what is the use of revision, how it is used, we will cover, but we will, we will be using that revisions again today. Here, you need to assign maintenance notifications, notifications to a revision. So normally the requirement, the maintenance requirement comes in the form of notification. That notifications you will assign to the revision. We will see this in the system. That, that notifications can be manually created through IW21 or it can be generated from a maintenance plan automatically. Okay. So if you see here, uh, so before that, here we will be using hierarchical task list. If you have assigned hierarchical task list to the notifications, then MEP can generate maintenance orders according to the structure of the hierarchical task list. So here we will be creating hierarchical task list and that you will assign to the notification. Then MEB will generate orders according to that structure of the task list, which we will see it in the system. Okay. So this is what. So the maintenance requirements comes in the form of normally if a machine is not working, if it is having malfunction or some maintenance activity has to be done or there is a uh, pending activity. A maintenance pending activity deferred work or any other miscellaneous maintenance activity needs to be done all these requirements will come in the form of notifications okay so for this notification you will assign a hierarchical task list and then these notifications are assigned to the revision and from this revision you will create orders using MEB. MEB. and if you want to assign these orders to the network network or project in plan, PS module, then you can do that, but this is optional. This is optional. Okay, so this flow, we will see it in the system. 
maintenance event uh, how to use them how the maintenance event builder is used to generate the multiple orders at one go okay so now we will continue uh, we'll see maintenance planning with maintenance event builder okay how the planning is done so first you will be creating the notification creating the notification so these notifications can be created manually or via maintenance plan automatically okay and these notifications are assigned with the hierarchical task list i will show you this in the system okay and you can create a project if you are if you have an integration with ps module then you can create a project but here that is not mandatory then you create a revision okay so this revision we already covered how to create a revision and everything so you create a revision and then these notifications are assigned to the revision okay and from the revision you will be generating the work order set one go automatic order generation assignment basically via mbb and from there the execution will happen execution and then closure of the orders this we have covered already extensively okay so basically we will see today uh, how to generate orders multiple orders using meb at one okay so this is the one this flow we will see it in the system okay so what we will do first we will uh, create the data required for this and from there we will uh, see the generation of the orders okay So first I will take equipment. This equipment I will take. So if you go to this equipment structure, it is having a construction time. Okay, this is a material code. Okay, so let me put the material code here. And it is having bomb. Let me go to the bomb. CS03. Okay, so here you have it is having three components support base distance plate and maintenance adapter these three so these three for these three parts i want to do maintenance activity together i want to do okay so these are the three so let me make a note of it three parts First, we will create the task list. General maintenance task list I will create. The T code is IA0. This we have covered already in our previous sessions. During preventive maintenance, we discussed how to create a general task list. Okay, so what I will do, don't give the group number. Enter the profile, continue. System will assign the group number. A task list for what is the first spare part? Support base. Task list for maintenance for support base enter the plant work center usage usage is plan maintenance planner group okay and status status i'll release it and here you have a assembly so you can enter the material code also assembly this is the one okay enter it and go to operations to keep it simple i will enter only one operation support base and that's okay so i have entered the i have entered one operation and let me save it so the group number is 81 and the group counter is one so the task list group number is 81 okay so now i'll create one more same same group i'll club all the three into one group enter already we have created one task list with group counter one let's create another one we click on new entries group counter is two task list for distance plate this one next material next is paper part assembly now enter the plant work center usage panel group status 
enter go to operations i'll just enter one operation work one work one 